Greetings everybody. This is not how I expect to start an episode, but here's the reason why. Right now it's 6 p.m. and there's a lot of bronzer spawning. Like a lot of bronzer. It's spotlight hour for bronzer. And I only realized that when I was in the middle of exercising. So hence out of breath, okay? Anyway guys, uh, what's gonna happen is that I'm gonna continue my exercise, but I'm going to go out for a run. So I'm gonna put an instance on. Uh, then I'm gonna see if I can get as many shiny bronzer as possible or no shiny bronzer because our spotlight hour has always been crap. <sighs> anyway, so we're looking for that green colors uh, bronzer and the good news about bronzer is that it's a steel type. One of the chapters for the Sino challenge is that we need to catch a steel type, I think chapter 6. Now we finally have the chance to do that and as you can see, catch a steel type Pokemon, oh my god. You have no idea how long we're waiting to find a steel type Pokemon and finally we have a steel type Pokemon to catch. Okay, shiny. No. So for the next one hour, hopefully we can get something green, something shiny, and I don't mean a hulk. Uh, ooh, hippo. And hopefully in this episode we can completely finish our Sino challenge throwback. My brain cannot work right now because I need water. Yes, water. Drink water, guys. Because, you know, when you're exercising, you gotta walk. I can't even finish my sentence right there. Okay, we're gonna be expecting to catch maybe about 80 to 100 bronzor. But if I don't get a shiny, then, you know, our luck has just been that bad. Okay, gotta go for a run. Nope. Okay, I'll see you guys soon then. No. Okay, okay, okay. I was just about to leave the house, just about to leave the house, and then... Yeah, we got a shiny, guys. We have a shiny bronzor. What is happening? Okay, the one time that I didn't really film properly, this happened, so yeah, great. I guess we should do this more often, like, you know, forget to film our episodes and stuff, then shinies will appear because, you know, we catch them off guard, you know? Anyway, we have a shiny bronzer, guys. This is the first ever shiny we got in the spotlight hour. Uh, I don't think we ever got a shiny from a spotlight hour before. Never, never. This is the first time ever, so yes, we got our shiny bronzer. And this is our second shiny bronzer. We have two shiny bronzer right now. Uh, and then we can evolve one of them. Okay, I really gotta go out and run already because it's gonna get dark soon, but yeah. Okay, quick update. <laughs> I just realized that I took a very long video of me doing my run yesterday, and I don't have anything to pair it with. So, as the video is gonna be playing, you guys get to watch me eat gummy bears as I run on screen. Enjoy. Did that make you uncomfortable? I sure hope so. <laughs> okay, enough weirdness. We are here on the next day already. Uh, we already finished one of the chapters of the Drawback Challenge for Sinnoh. This is chapter 7. Uh, let's just claim the reward because after this... Ooh, Gibble! By the way, you can get a shiny Gibble from this, but I, and I do not have a shiny Gibble. Is it good though? Ooh, it's not bad. Alright, claim, claim. And chapter 7 is gonna give you an ice type. Hello. Obama Snow. I don't care what its name is, but it will always be Obama Snow for me, you know. Uh, in about 30 minutes, there's gonna be a raid hour, but for a brand new legendary, Reshiram. So Reshiram is a fire and dragon type. And final chapter, we need to catch an electric type Pokemon. Okay, simple enough, simple enough. Uh, in about 30 minutes, we should be getting Reshiram and the thing is Reshiram is not shiny a bow. Uh, so maybe we'll like do like three raids because I have three remote raid passes. Okay, let's wait for an electric type Pokemon and then we should be able to complete this. You would think that after 30 minutes of incense there will be at least one electric Pokemon or something. 
No, did not get a single electric Pokemon, so I'm still waiting for that Pikachu or something. I don't know, there's Pikachus on nearby list, I just can't get them right now. Anyway, we are like 30 seconds away from Reshiram. Okay, here we go. Reshiram. Nice. That is a very nice looking bird, you know. It's a dragon, not a bird, but yeah, looks like a bird. The max CP we're looking for is 2307 and 2884. That is for level 20 and level 25, so. From the looks of it, it seems that there's a lot of people that is on the ground. In total, there's only 4 people that is doing remote raid, including myself. Wait a minute, that's not my avatar. I'm not wearing that shirt. I don't have that hat. And I don't have those pants. Something's not right. Oh, first ever restaurant raid. This is exciting. Dragon and fire type. I really like that. I like that combination, yeah. Basically, just use all your dragon type Pokemon to counter. And I know I'm saying that, but I'm not using a dragon type right now because I didn't really pick my team. But yeah, use all your Rayquaza, your Dragonite, because those are the best counters right now for Rushiram. Although you don't really need a good counter if you have 20 people in the raid. Okay, sweet. All right, I don't think I have boosted right now, so I'm aiming for 230, oh no, 2273. We're looking for 2307, that wasn't it. Okay, I'm not used to his attacking pattern. What the hell is that? Is that a jump or what? It's like, the pixel is so distorted or something. Oh, that's an easy excellent. First ball! Ah, oh, is it just me when he jumps, his head just teleport to the bottom left corner? I'm pretty sure they didn't really like, program that jump hard. Yes, it looks so awkward. Wow! Second ball and we caught it! Nice! So I'm guessing that we can use Reshiram in Ultra League since it started off at 2307. You can't use it for Great League, obviously. And Pokedex entry, guys! Reshiram! Oh, this is actually not bad, but you know, we're looking for a better one. Second raid of Reshiram, here we go! This time we're using proper counters because uh, I think it's not. It doesn't have a dragon type move right now, so our dragon type don't die, won't die so easily. It has overheat, so you know, dragon types. We're gonna strive to victory. It looks like it's about to rain outside. Surprise. I don't know what's going on, but in Singapore, it's raining almost every day. I have to turn on my monitor to make it white so that, you know, there's a little bit of light. You think this light is coming from the window? It's not, it's coming from my monitor. <laughs> Rush ram down. Let's look for the IV 2307. 2247. Holy crap, that is super low. Last ball. Here we go. Excellent throw. Please catch it. Please catch it. Is that. Oh. Okay, we didn't catch our second one. Third rush around down. Come on, CP. 2307. 2261. Why? Our quest for looking at 100% IV rush around still hangs in the balance. Anyway, so now that we're done with Reshiram, we're back to our throwback challenge we, which we still need an electric type Pokemon. God damn it Pikachu, can't you just spawn already? Like come on man, see any Pikachu, give me a shiny, no it's not. Oh speaking of shiny guys, I actually managed to find a shiny Piplup. I think it was like yesterday or something or something like that, I can't remember but uh, yeah, we have a shiny Piplup. Um, it's not the shiny I'm looking for for this event. Obviously, I'm looking for Glam Meow. Uh, I was, I'm hoping for other shiny in fact, but yeah, we got a sh random shiny Pipla. To top it off, we have the Bronzor yesterday, so that was actually a really good one. Uh, Bronzor, Pipla, and hopefully we can get a shiny Cresselia, which is gonna be the end of our chapter. Fingers crossed. Okay, uh, you let me find that electric type Pokemon and I'll get back to you guys. I honestly don't know why, but it took so long for Pikachu to spawn at my house. And today is already the next day by the way, so as you can see, first catch of the day, Pikachu, thank you for spawning. Now we can finally finish our chapter. Okay, here we go, Star P, Stardust, and Fast TM, woohoo! And final one, Shinx, Moment of Truth, 9000 EXP, that's a lot. Here we go guys, Cresselia, maybe it's a shiny, I don't know, but here we go. 3, 2, 1. <laughs> I was banking on it. Oh well, okay. We did not get a shiny Cresselia, unfortunately. But that's okay. 1180. Oh, this is great. Like, we can use this in Great League. So that's it for the drawback challenge for Sinnoh region. And the next one is going to be like, uh, I think some kind of big bonus. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know what kind of shinies you got for this week. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.